Hello, guys. Miss? Yep. We're going to read a story. Hello, Hi. Miss. We're going to read a story. Yeah, we're today we're going to continue with Kamado Dragons. Remember that there is still missing a couple of things that we need to do with Kamado Dragons. Okay. Questions. <laughs> Yeah, exactly that. So, uh, the last mm -hmm. week we start reading Come Dragon in page 120, no, 220. Let's see. 27, I think you know, Bron. Yes, I think. How do you say that it's a much I don't remember. How do you say it? Yes. Okay, so just give me a second. I'm going to check that. I, I, I seen it that the, the part say between 10 and 27 eggs. The beginning of 227, right? Yep. Just give me, I'm going to. 104. Mm. Okay, I need that everybody be with your book, your own book, even though I am projecting or I'm sharing the screen on the, on the board, on the, over there, like, like the book, you need to have your book with you, okay? Miss. <laughs> A page of the Kamado Dragon is in 120. 120? Yeah. 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 Just yes. that this is 127. We, we, we read it. We are in 228. Yeah, guys. I mean that we finish until 227. Just give me a second because the book is not loading. So we finish into here. Yes, a Komodo dragon <coughs> in danger. Uh -huh, that they live in a free island and more. So yes, we just read that. Okay. So, okay, what do you remember about Komodo dragons? So, where are they from? They are from Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia. In the, in the Komodo dragon island. They're in Indonesia. In the Komodo Island, Miss. In the Komodo okay. Island. Okay, one at a time. You don't need to jail, okay? Mm -hmm. One at a time. So they are from Komodo Island. That's why they got that name. And this island belongs to Indonesia. So, um, so, do you remember what is the vocabulary that we should have learned about them? Like, how is that? How is their skin? Yes. So cute. Mm. Mm, it is like uh, they have an armor, like it's an armor. It's like an armor, right? Yes, excellent. And there is something very peculiar that they do with their their tongue. So do you remember that most of the time their tongue is out? Like, like the, like the snake, that they are. <laughs> okay. Without know, because they have a, they have a, they have a bacteria that they can, that the, they can kill people if they touch it. Yes, they can kill us with their tongue. Even with their tongue, they try to smell or look for prey to hunt. Okay, so. 
Wow, so we know that they are like, uh, and what kind of prey or what kind of animal they hunt for, you know, to eat? Like, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Insect. Insect. Only like insect. A, like, no, another thing like, 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 Raise your hand, people. Raise your hand. That they drink that. Uh, how is the name? I'm going to say. Yes, yes, yes. They drink the. The buffalo. Uh, they even have. They, they can. They can. Okay, they eat. They eat insect, uh, rotors, like, you know, like mice uh, or, or birds. And even they eat lizards or eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm, they eat that, okay? They so eat their eggs. They wow. eat maybe all their animals' eggs for another lizard or something. What? Yes. So, mm. uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so um okay, so do you think that we can have them as a pet? No, no, no. they are deadly. The they're cool dead. dragons can, can kill like no people. Someone okay. say yes. Day. Me, someone say yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, Diego, what are their kind of animal they can eat? The common dragons. Uh huh. Insects and the and this sign and this animal, I think that I remember. And what is the name of that animal? Buffaloes. Buffalo, water buffaloes, right? Yes, water buffaloes. So they are very dangerous, right? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Completely that they are. So all the birds, let, just let's yes. read. Uh -huh. They can beat a lion. No, that is. Mm. Remember that the lion is on the top of the, of the food chain. I mean, it's in Africa. And they are in, in the jungle. Yes. In the... Well, to be honest, the no, like the jungle, not, not the jungle, is the savanna, in the savanna. Okay. So let's ah. read, let's read the page 228. So over there, we need to know a little bit about Thane, uh, Thane Maynard. Okay. So can you start, please? Um, let me see. Joseph, you're gonna start. Let's read about the author, how, what they, what he can tell us, or what can we learn about him? Okay, Joseph. Joseph. Miss, I cannot see the screen. You need to have your book. You need Miss, to have your book. Miss, I can read. Joseph, start reading, please. And the rest of you, turn off your microphone. Miss. Sebastian, Sebastian, you need to have your book. It doesn't matter if you cannot see the screen. You have your book. You need to take your book and read from the book. Okay, Joseph, are you ready or not? We're, we're wasting time and we need to write the book. <laughs> Okay. Then, Thane Minor, uh huh. 
they might know about the outdoor that minor gray up in central Florida, where he enjoyed cat, catching scarlet king snakes. 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 And baby alligators, his interest in the part of they tour led to a love for how they of animal will fight this wildlife, wildlife, wildlife. Mr. Minor has shared this love with audience through to daily radio. Television to television series. Television series animals in action and secret at the zoo and a daily radio feature. Daily that, radio feature. Mm -hmm. The very second naturalist on national public. Radio, he is the director of education at the Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Cincinnati Zoo and Botanic, Botanical, 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 Botanical Garden. Okay. So, Darwin, that you are making an R wall. Can you continue? No, continue. Reading. Um, the mm -hmm. Miss I know. Darwin. How do baby Komodo dragons grow up? Mm -hmm. um, we are in the page 228. So it means that you are not paying attention, Darwin. Continue, please, Andrea. In addition to Komodo Dragons, Mr. Miner has written many other books about animals. It includes animal inventors in the girl, animal in babies. Danger, in danger. In danger, animals babies. When a rhino comes to America, he dedicates his book saving in danger mammals to all of tomorrow's conservation. Janice, with these words, may you have the good things to life as if the future matters. In the future matters, right? So, well, over there, they, I was asking to you some, Liam, please turn off your camera. And I was telling to you some, some questions to you about about this um just give me a second i'm going to share that with you right now oh okay can you see there yeah yes okay just give me a second there okay no, yes, what happened? No, so, in back, we only see a square and this. All, all this is in black, this. Oh, no, no. Okay. 
Okay. Of where, of so where I, need, I need that you check what the, the questions that you had in your notebook. Do you have those questions? Do you already grow oh, those ones? Yeah, I see. No. Yes. Yes. No. No, we no. don't do it. We do it all. Oh. You had the ones from the vocabulary, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So number one, come with the dragons are. Dragons are um, alligators. Alligators. No, no. no. Um, lizards. They're lizards. They are lizards. Where do, come we... the, where do come the dragons live? The come the dragons live in, in Indonesia. In Indonesia. Indonesia, right? Okay. Come the dragons. Their tails back and forth too. So they like something. That they show show they like something like the dog. No, oh. no, no. Call us that pre their prey. I confuse me. I confuse. <laughs> Hold on, their prey. Uh, Are you sure. Mm. Help oh, them. Mm. No. Hold on to their prey. I am so. Aww. It was Miss. healthy balance. Healthy balance. Miss. Yeah. Miss. Miss. Only the answer that we need to copy. In the question. In the sentence. In the answer. We have what it means. We what have to write So we, we need to write that, that question number two and number three. And then only the answer. One, two, and three. Hold. Yes, the answer, the complete, the, the, the sentence. Means we have to put the options too, right? No. No, just I... write it. Come out the dragons are, because you need, is there are some uh, sentence to complete them. Like, so come out the dragons are, lizards. Where the come out the dragons live? Indonesia. Come with the dragons switch their tails back and forth to help them balance. Because we need to write more questions. So hurry up. Don't waste your, oh, don't waste the time. Okay, you can do it. When you listen to that little sound, it's a puppy. <laughs> okay. Miss, uh -huh. they they can they can travel to every every country, but they are some Komodo dragons that they are in danger of dying. Um. Well, so they well some Komodo dragons. I, I was looking information and reading a little bit of more about them. And there are some Kamado dragons that they had reached it, to Australia. Okay. And remember what I had teach you what, what we have been talking about in the classes, that it's important to keep a balance uh, of some places. So if they can be in another country, in another place, so it could be a little bit dangerous. What if he start hunting all over different kinds of animals? So what if they start hunting birds or so another kind of rodent animals like uh, rotors? Um, they can be uh, they could be a damage for the balance, you know, the, for the ecosystem because of the habitat, because uh, if they eat a lot of animals, so remember that those animals have to, to keep an ecosystem and a habitat, and that is going to be like a problem. So, you know, I can give you an example. I don't know if you had ever listened in the news, but in Colombia, there was a person that he brings uh, hippos, hippopotamus, 
from, you know, from, from Africa, he brings us to Colombia. And those uh, hip hop, uh, they have been reproducing themselves. And they, they the, in the news say that there were a lot of, a lot of hip hops in, in a river and that they are damaging the, the ecosystem and the habitat. And, and there is doing a lot of damage to that place. And they don't know how to control those animals because that is, you know, uh, Colombia, part of South America and, and Central America, we have a, a rainforest, uh, a rainforest uh, habitat ecosystem. And they are not for rainforest. They belong more for like savanna and a part of the Africa that they have like a, a little bit of forest, a jungle forest savanna that is like that. And they are creating a lot of damage. That will happen, I think, with the Komodo dragon if we take them to another country where it's not their ecosystem. Maybe we can take them to a, a beach or an island, but not to, to a forest. That will be very dangerous and, and a lot of animals will die or something. And there is not going to be a balance for those animals, okay? I think, well, I can see some, a lot of people have finished. There is someone that haven't finished, no? Because we need to go to the next questions. I finished me. I know, because we, we have so, some time. One more minute. We still have five minutes to write the next one. Finish. Diego? What? Finish. Yes, I send it. Okay, here we go. Number four and five. How is the female comma the travel different from the male? Hmm. Mm -hmm. How is the female different from the comma the dragon male? How they are different? Uh, what is a male miss? Female is like the, the, like we can say, I am female, you are female, but Diego, oh. is female, okay? That, um, that is not as strong? She is not as strong, could be. Someone else has a different idea? Or you choose another? Yes, idea? I think this does. She is a, is she is a beautiful pyramid. Okay, let's find out if you were right. Ooh. She is actually smaller. She is uh, usually smaller. Nobody choose that better. one. Miss, 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 miss. But I think, but I have the microphone on. Okay. Oh. Okay, so number five, Amelia. Number five. Because yeah. some of the dragons are cold, are cold blooded, they. Um, I think. That Amelia is A. Letter A? Okay, yeah. Andrea, what do you think it is? We need outside here to warm them up. Okay. So let's Please? Yeah, lead me. I think it is need outside here to warm them up. Well, we're going to see. Who was right? They need outside heat to warm up. The very good, Andrea and, and Lin Mei.
Miss. You still have three minutes. Uh -huh. Miss, I heard, I, I, I saw is smaller than smaller. Smaller. Yes, I confused because I thought it was is smaller is smaller is smarter, and it was smaller. Oh, okay, okay. I finish. Means how many eggs common to dragons can make? Ooh, I don't know. That would vary because most of the time, well, lizards, they can make a lot of eggs. And they remember that they are the biggest lizards from all the species. So Me, that will depend. Maybe they're me because of I the side they could. Uh, Laura, I'm trying to explain. Guys, you have serious problems. You never, you, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, maybe Miss Claudia, should, she should be here every day because every time that I'm trying to explain, you're interrupting. You have problems to listen directions. I don't know how you do it with your parents, but in classes, especially in my classes, if I am speaking, do not interrupt. I have tell you this like for five months now and you are not listening to me. You having a lot of problems with that, but we need to keep trying and doing our best. Okay. Buenas tardes, Miss. Gracias, Miss Claudia. Um, miss, fíjese que Este es problema pues no puede seguir en primer lugar porque para eso están las reglas, levantar la mano. Eh, si no lo hacen pues en la pantalla lo pueden hacer pues con la señal que da el mismo Zoom de levantar la mano y, y usted va a decidir quién es la persona. En caso de que esto suceda, lo que va a pasar con el grado es que usted va a tener que dejarlos a todos apagado el micrófono y usted solamente va a encender el micrófono de la persona que le dé usted la palabra. Eso va a pasar porque como ellos no han entendido hasta el momento que deben de estar en silencio. Creo que es una falta de respeto que una persona esté hablando. Si en este momento yo estoy hablando y alguien me interrumpe, yo lo considero una falta de respeto. Entonces ustedes deben de aprender a escuchar y también a estar en silencio. Cuando yo quiera transmitir una idea o contestar, voy a levantar mi mano. Entonces le voy a pedir, Miss, de continuar esto, pues vamos a tomar otras medidas. Solamente se van a tomar los niños que realmente estén en orden, que le levanten la mano y que pidan la palabra. Así va a ser porque ellos no están haciendo caso a las reglas de la clase. Gracias, Miss. Muchísimas gracias, Miss Claudia. Muchísimas gracias. So, well, replying to, to, to Lin May, uh, sometimes they can have limit five eggs and the maximum that they can have, they are 10, but they are from five to 10. Remember that they have a big size like this. The, the eggs are bigger than the normal egg that we have from a chicken, okay? So they are bigger. And I hope so that it, those everybody, if you already finished, please use your virtual thumbs up or you can let me check in the in the okay yeah i think a lot of people finish thank you so much so we need to stop in here because we uh we need to go to lunch okay so thank you so much people and now miss claudia already talked to you i hope so that you can listen and understand that okay see you bye, bye people. see you after bye. lunch okay bye 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 miss claudia Bye, Miss. Bye, people.